Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM23 save with Geisley on the Youth Academy save. I nearly said F1 because I've been recording an F1 video. That's on my other channel. Go check it out, Coach Left Foot Let's Play. There'll be a link for it in the top corner somewhere, probably above my head at some point. Uh, yeah, go check it out. If you like F1 and management games, I love it. So yeah, why not go and check it out? Right, we are back because it is Youth Intake Day. Let's dive into it. Yes, welcome back everybody and it is Youth Intake Day and we are pretty much the 17th best team in the championship consistently. I mean, we have not hit the heat, the hit the uh, the heights of our peak which was 15th in the season and we've not been to our lowest point which was bottom on the first day of the season, but we have consistently been around 17th according a massively long stretch here where we were 17th seemingly forever. We went to 16th for two games and then dropped back down to 17th so yeah it's good we're not getting relegated apparently which is absolutely awesome if we have a look at the uh, points to games ratio that we love to look at 44 points from 38 games so we've got a game in hand if we win it potentially could go above reading into 15th to hit that peak again if we win 2-0 or 3-0 we'd go up to that point but Wigan, Doncaster, Charlton are the three bottom teams in the division which is amazing because we're not one of them which is always lovely so but yeah a, a 12 point gap to relegation I'm sort of feeling like we can nearly get excited about being safe which is really really awesome uh looking at the schedule then we've been picking up some decent results to be honest along the way um lots of different results we played chelsea in the last episode 2-0 lost to coventry after that 0-0 against bournemouth 2-1 win over wigan even though cameron thorpe got sent off we hung on to win that one 1-1 draw with charlton 0-0 draw with sunderland a 3-3 draw with rotherham which was Really irritating because Classy and Cox both got injured. 3-0 loss to West Brom. 2-1 win over Huddersfield. A 1-1 draw with Bristol City. A 4-2 win over Reading, which was uh, very nice. Cameron Thorpe Hattrick in that one. Uh, Millwall drew 0-0 and we've just lost 2-0 to Blackburn where Jan Petrick scored a 7. Now, Dave, why is Jan Petrick in goal? We know he's a Patreon. We know he's a channel member. And if you want to get your name in the game, you just have to sign up below. Um... Yeah, he's conceded two in one appearance, got a seven. He's in, and he'll be improving probably quite a lot in the short term because Scott Lloyd is injured for quite a while. So, yeah, it's um, it's a bit of an annoying one. It says six days till he's back in training, but he's pulled his ankle ligaments and is therefore hurting and not playing, which is a little bit irritating. But... Um, it's not all bad, to be honest. It's not all bad. Because Jan Petrick is going to get some first-team football and you're going to improve and you're going to develop. And it's the whole reason we sent Ben Spence out on loan so that if this happened, you stepped up into the first team and that is going to be awesome. And obviously the Llama Queen giving uh, wonderful assessments to us as our head physio, which is um, absolutely amazing. But yeah, we've been doing well. We're trying to convince Hanif Bertrand to not leave on a free but it looks like he's always going to be leaving on a free which is really really annoying because he's been sort of turning up this season since he said he's going to leave but he thinks he can play for a better club I don't think he'll get another team in the championship so I think that's a little bit upsetting on his part but generally yeah we've been playing really uh really well we're still doing the thing of adapting our tactics to shape and formations of other teams and I'm learning a lot and it's working really well and maybe I will produce a sort of, um, I'm just trying to multitask. Men really can't multitask. Uh, I, maybe I will produce a little guide or something, but I don't think it might not be necessary. I don't know if people want it. So, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I am enjoying it. Uh, a couple more loans have gone, though. So, uh, Christian Argnesson, you've gone to South Shields for some first-team football, which means you'll come back even stronger. Hashtag back stronger if you quote the... Peter Crouch podcast, two appearances for them already, a 6.75. So, uh, yeah, you've gone for some first-team football. As has Daniel Samari Magnusson, our Icelandic player, who has gone back to Iceland to get a bit more football, um, which should treat him pretty well. Not a big loan fee on this one, but they are paying all of his wages. In other massive news, we are not in debt. £526,000 in the budget, or in the balance, Dave, how have you done it? I had nothing to do with it. Um, our new owner has come in. Our new owner, who 
has cleared the debt, apparently. We'll get onto that in a minute. But the new owner who loves the club, um, I can't even remember his name, to be honest. And that's very bad, but I can't remember his name. And he's, yeah, he came in, he cleared the debt, and he took over as a board takeover. So that's finally gone through. And it was like, oh, yes, great. So I went into finances, looked to see what he had done, put £500,000 in the bank account. Awesome. Brilliant. Went to look at the loans. Another £3.4 million loan to buy the club. Oh, we're paying back that £29,000 a month for 10 years. For 10 years. Oh, my God. It's going to be disastrous. Just as we get to the close towards the end of this one, there is this huge chunk of debt on the club again. So, yeah, let's see how we go. But while we've got money in the bank, we're going to ask the board for something. We're going to ask them to improve our training facilities because we really, really need it. And we're going to improve, increase our youth level because that's really helpful. Um, and we're going to, what else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, well, we're going to improve the youth recruitment. And that's all of them. Next time we can ask something, we will ask them if we can do a senior affiliate because technically it's a new board so we'll see what happens right but today is youth intake day and here they are um our annual youth candidate intake has arrived for assessment whisper it quietly but this could be a so-called golden generation with kelvin calvin bambrook the diamond in a very strong group of players the youth candidates will be given trial contracts blah de blah de blah there he is calvin bambrook a midfield right left or striker two star current ability five star potential but as ever we start at the bottom and see what we get. Trevor Stacey is a goalkeeper that doesn't look very good. Oh, we've got a Trina, Trinabagonian. Didn't know that's what you call someone from uh, Trinidad or Tobago. Trin I thought they were Trinidadian. But maybe if you're from Tobago, you're Trinbagonian. Love it. Australian coming through again. We've got a Polish player again. Another Welshman. And uh, Andrea, the Spanish guy who we're looking forward to looking at as well not sure if i missed anyone there but trevor stacy goalkeeper awesome you're not six foot five bloody hell you're a giant lad at 16 an absolute giant good punching uh, good reflexes everything else needs a fair bit of work but i do say i like goalkeepers to come through we've actually got quite a few at the club now so he probably won't get a contract because he's pretty pants um, Robert Thomas, attacking midfield left, attacking field centre, central midfield, a one-star current ability, three-star potential. Meh, it's a bit meh. I mean, these ones you don't normally get anything too outstanding. No pace, no acceleration. Dribbling's good. Finishing's decent. Determination, flair. Technique is pretty good. Likes to run with the ball through the centre. But again, six foot five, an absolute giant of a man. Or a kid, I should say, at 16. But yeah. Not a lot there to work with, unfortunately. Right, Robert Thomas. Next up, the Australian midfield left, central midfield, and holding midfielder, Riley Iridale. Half-star current ability, three-star potential ability. I, I would say the less we say about him, the better. Another absolute giant, a six-foot-two. Like, for his age at 15, that is really tall. So, okay. Um, at least we've got a tall load coming through. Kadeem Francis, then, the Trinabagonian. One star current ability, three star potential, centre back, six foot two, great jumping reach, good balance, good bravery, good determination, good work, great, good fitness, marking, tackling, heading, not actually too bad. He could, in theory, turn into something a little bit good, to be honest. I think he could. If we go coach report, uh, John Beale thinks a three star as well. So John Beale is the guy I use as a sort of second opinion because our head of youth development doesn't have the best attributes for judging potential and things like that. But Kadeem Francis could be one to keep an eye on. Um, Macaulay Denton, which kind of sounds like his names are the wrong way around. He could be Denton Macaulay. Midfield left, central midfield, attacking midfield. Uh, one star current busy, three star potential. And a lot of tens. Someone that in like the Vanarama National, I'd be really a little bit excited about. But now we're in the championship. That's pretty poor. Yeah, not probably not going to go too far with that one right on to the top talents getting into the area of the players where they may well make a difference and first up is midfield right attacking midfield right robbie jones one and a half star current ability four star potential robbie jones acceleration balance pace stamina not looking too bad work great teamwork passing technique and crossing all looking pretty good and flair as well he will probably get a contract just to see what he develops into born in barnsley five foot eleven unambitious Level-headed media handling, which I think is pretty good. 
Yeah, okay. Jones might progress into something a little bit useful. Doug Everett, one and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. Midfield left, attacking midfield left. Doug Everett, pace 10, acceleration 9 isn't the best. He's aggressive, he's got good teamwork, good fitness. Runs with the ball a lot and dribbling 9 doesn't really add up. But um, 5 foot 6, 15 years old, volatile, media friendly. He likes to talk to the media and be volatile. That doesn't sound like a good mix for me, for uh, for Doug Everett there. Oh, what was Doug Everett's, what did I say? Balance personality, yeah. Balance personality. Right, the Polishman, Tom Zass, Mordzhevesh. Vek Vix More More Thomas a central midfielder or a center or oh, holding midfielder or a center back actually one and a half star four star current fair potential ability Why do I try and record videos when I can't talk teamwork 19 work rate 15 leadership 13 determination 13 fitness 12 all very good Wants to well assistant manager says better off as a center back so six foot two 16 years old, media friendly, fairly ambitious. I do like having different nationalities, don't I? So he might make it with our team. Polish and English. Thomas Mordzhevich. No, no, that's not staying, is it? Set nickname. Tom. We'll go. We'll go. Tomash. Tom. In fact, let's just go. Hang on. Hang on. Let's do this the sensible way. Set nickname. Come off there. Highlight that. Tomash. There we go. Tomash is uh, is there. We can't say his surname, so he stays in there. Hugo Beat. Um, midfield centre, ball winning midfielder, but can play. Attacking midfield right, midfield right, attacking centre and striker. One star current ability, four star potential. Hugo Beat winds up his opponents. Uh, he's got a casual personality, level headed with the media. Five foot six. Tackling is good, teamwork, work great, aggression, fitness. Got some stamina. It's definitely screaming central midfield, not attacking midfield right, even though a wide target forward at five foot six. Oh, come on, assistant manager. You're having a shocker there. No, I don't think he's ever going to make it. Next, wing back right, which is not ideal because we're not using wing backs at the moment. Uh, oh, midfield right or midfield left. Ben Caswell, one star current ability, three and a half star potential. Ben Caswell has a great work rate and teamwork, which is really good to see. But everything else is pretty rubbish to see. Heading one. Five foot five, jumping reach three, tackling five, crossing five, dribbling four. Nah, next. Not even going to waste time looking at Ben Caswell because that is not very good at all. Uh, John Astley. If only it was Rick. If it was Rick Astley, that would be amazing. Attacking midfield right, attacking field center, striker, one and a half star current ability, four star potential. John Astley comes from Wales and he's got good dribbling, good first touch, good bravery, good determination, good leadership off the ball is good a bit of pace with 10 and acceleration 10 agility 10 uh, six foot 16 years old light-hearted a young striker is what is being described as he probably will get a contract a youth contract to see what he can do but yeah i mean there's a bit of potential there in john astley brother of rick then uh yeah nice right into the elite talents where we take a little bit longer to look at each player. So midfield left, attacker midfield left, attacker midfield right, Jensen Lenehan, one star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. Jensen Lenehan has the physicals to start. I, I say if you see a player that's got decent physicals, the chances are that that means their potential growth is all going to be technical and mental, which really helps. Five foot five, 16 years old, fairly professional. Uh, good pace 12 balance 12 acceleration 14 which means he's going to be able to dribble in the future because he's got good pace balance and acceleration flair 10 technique 10 yeah first touch nine need to work a bit more on his attacking attributes get his stamina up could be something useful could be something useful. very lightweight at eight stone nine though um left back john richardson can play left back or left wing back and slightly play right back one and a half star current five star potential ability John Richardson really doesn't look all that. Good tackling, 14. 5 foot 6, 15 years old, unambitious, unflappable in the media. Not much pace. Can cross, sort of. Bravery's good. Decisions, determination. It, it's a lot of growth needed, right? It's a lot of growth. Got good potential. He might make something happen. John Richardson. Isn't John Richardson the guy that used to present Football Italia on Channel 4? Yeah, let me know in the comments if you're as old as me and you remember Football Italia. Um, we'll look at Calvin Bambrook last. Next up, Gerard or Ger Gerard. It's got an, an accent over the east. That would be like Gerard. Gerard. Gerard Gomasal. 
It sounds French. I'm going to suggest he's going to be part French. One and a half star um, current ability, four and a half star potential ability. Ball winning midfielder Gerard Gomosal is not French at all. Uh, unambitious, unflappable. 15 is his year of age. His year of age. He's, he is 15 years old. Good teamwork, good fitness, good aggression, which could be good and bad. Free kick taking is good. Long shots are good. Tackling is not bad. Technique, work rate. Again, 10s across the board in physicals at, at the age of 15 could be very good. Work on some of these technical things. A get, ball winning midfielder, we need some of them coming through the team. So, yeah, don't mind that at all. Long shots 12 and shoots from distance could be good. Maybe not good enough for the championship, but we will see. Next up, right back, our Spaniard. Right back, right wing back, holding midfield, left back. Adria. One and a half star current ability, five star potential. Adria is uh, aggressive, but makes good decisions, which is good. Needs to up his concentration a bit. Work rate's good. Decisions, yeah, brave. He's brave. Um, physicals need a bit of work. Marking, passing, tackling, not ideal. Needs to improve crossing and dribbling as a right back. But with that potential, there's a lot of growth there. There is a lot of growth. So I'm interested to see how far he can go. I'm also very excited because he's Spanish. I mean, let's not lie. Fickle personality, volatile and media friendly. Again, probably not ideal as a mix. But I don't know. Let's see how far Adria can go. And now we go to the diamond in a very strong group of players. Calvin Bambrook, the Englishman who can play right wing, left wing and up front through the middle. It did say we're going to have two very good prospects at a striker. And the other one was John Astley, I'm going to suggest, is the one they were talking about at a striker. So Calvin Bambrook, this is him. Okay, not at all bad. Pace is good, agility is good, acceleration is good, flair, technique, passing, first touch, dribbling, crossing. Right, he's basically got the pace to be an advanced forward but not the finishing ability. Or, and he has the ability to be an inverted winger if we get his composure up. Composure, decisions need to be better. But he has got a good sort of base. Yeah, he's got a good base. It'll be interesting to see how he gets on. 15 years old, temperamental personality isn't ideal. Volatile, media friendly, confrontational, not that good either. But, um, okay, Calvin Bambrook is in. He's, he's the top prospect we got. Like to try tricks and beat people. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below about our youth intake this year. Um, who stands out? Who do you think is going to be the best? Could any of them go straight into all the first team squad or anything like that? And if you want to take over any of these players, you can let me know in the comment section. And once you're signed up to become a channel member or a Patreon, you can get your name in the game all the links are in the description below but we will leave it there it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode no game uh, match day in this one but it looks like we're edging closer towards um the championship oh no there was a request before we go hopefully no one stopped watching the video because i started the outro um there was a request i remember to look at the club and see if we have any legends or uh, favoured personnel and things like that. Now, what I need to do is try and remember how to find it on this skin. Because that has caused me a few issues wearing using a skin that isn't um, basically our own... Our own. Aha, here we go. I found it. Club background. Le no legends. I'm not a legend at the moment, which seems a little bit harsh. According to that I've taken the club from the Vanarama National League North to the Championship without signing a player. Uh, Steve Kittrick is there. James Walshaw, Mark Brennan. Matt O'Keefe is still an icon who is now retired. Matt O'Keefe. He is an icon at Geisley, which is nice to see. Uh, Favoured personnel. Taron, Taron Allpress, obviously. What a man he is. What a striker. 26 years old. Um, who else we got? Shane Tarmy. Danny Adams. Oh, yeah. He's retired as well. Retired straight after when he left Geisley. Danny Adams is there. And Shane Tarmy. It's some good names. Yeah, some very good names. Shane Tarmy still playing. Shane Tarmy still at Stevenage. Unhappy, though. Uh, wants to go out on loan for playing time. It looks like he's having the same problems he did at us latter in his latter part of his career. But there you go. Uh, we've got we're an icon. We're not quite a legend, which is a little bit irritating. Um, I do like this. The club enjoyed probably their best spell of success during the 2030s. <laughs> Oh, that makes me laugh because we're so far in the future. 2040. 
now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We will leave it there. We will be back for the uh, end of the season, which could be a game against AFC Wimbledon away from home down in London, which will be very interesting. And hopefully we have safety secured. I think we're pretty much there anyway. But we'll be back for the last game of season 17 in 2040. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave all your comments and likes down below. I always read and respond to every comment and I'm really enjoying it. So thank you so much for all your support. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.